Hello everyone, Megatronic here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Yellow Park uh, AMK series G1 Optimus Prime. Now before we get into the figure itself, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Now this packaging comes in a couple parts, you get this slip cover of the Optimus Prime artwork in the 40th or anniversary, chapter 2, all the other stuff, nice artwork all around, and then you get the main box, which is nicely, nice, nicely done. They're nice and shiny. I didn't need to look at the instructions for anything other than the batteries. Um, he's fairly simple to put together and just needs some common sense. Now, what batteries are you wondering about that he does not come with? I got these off Amazon. It was about, I want to say a little bit over five bucks for a 10 pack. And it's the CR927-3V. And uh, those will go, one of them will go into his head. And it will have the light up eyes, as you can see. And I believe Megatron, for his head at least, is the same. I will do a review on Megatron when I get him in the mail. I got him off of uh, AliExpress. And I gotta say, this Optimus, quite, quite good. Now, before we get into the figure itself, let's get into the accessories he comes with. Now, first and foremost, he comes with his ion blaster now the ion blaster has a magnet in the back of it so if you tap his front crest with it you will get the blinking the slow fade effect this goes and fades about three or four times before it finally dies out last time eyes just turn off and then they stay on but we're gonna go ahead and turn that off so i'm not wasting the batteries but yeah, Ion Blaster comes, comes with his signature Energon Axe. Very nice uh, transparent plastic. It doesn't feel brittle. It is a bit on the small side for me, in my opinion, but eh, oh well. He comes with a Megatron gun, which will probably be utilized in future releases. I do wish it had Decepticons, a Decepticon symbol at least on it, but I can do that myself if I'm so inclined. He comes with a stand piece, which comes with the base layer, layer, an Autobot symbol, and then the arm, and then the grabber. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, I can I can't get it to grab on Optimus for the life of me, and it, it's just a pain. Uh, I don't really see the use of this. I wish he had like a three millimeter stand port on him. I get he would probably be too heavy for that, but I wish they maybe made like a custom stand that could plug into him. Other than that, which, yeah, it, it, it just isn't the greatest stand, if I'm going to be honest. And lastly, for the accessories, he does, of course, include, so I can get it open, can be a bit of pain. He does, in fact, include his Matrix of Leadership. And this is just done in a clear blue, painted very, very well. Nicely detailed, too. But we will just leave that in his chest for now so I don't lose it since I have the memory of a goldfish. And yeah, the detailing and sculpting on this guy is just great. Especially here at the edges where you get like some of that like scratching and wearing effect. Very, very nice panel lining throughout the figure. And once again, like the dirt and grime effects throughout the figure are just very, very nicely done. Very nice metallic blues here for the legs. Nice metallic sheen. I love metallic sheens on figures. So I'm very happy with this. And more of that crud and wearing down of the metals. Some on the back here too. Love how they did that. It's more of that panel lining. It's a lot more uh, noticeable here on the back. And it does look like he's been to uh, been in some wars. I do wish there was some grime on the head sculpt. Well, that's fine. They don't need it. While we're on the head, um, to get the batteries in, you just basically take off the top of his head and the battery slot goes right in there. Um, the, the back of his head can also come off. The back of his head can come off. Yeah, there's his ports there. And then the side of his head can also come off. So if you want to recreate what happened to him in Age of Extinction, you basically can. And I'm just going to put that back on there. That all just basically tabs. There's tab slot connection ports for all of that. And for articulation, he is, he is very pulsable. 
you have a ball joint at the neck and then the neck part, this little gray piece, can hinge back and forth. You do have a really good wiggle waggle in the head too. Very expressive ball joint as well. So lots of range on the head. The antenna can spin. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to risk breaking them, but they can hinge back and forth. Arms, full 360. You got 90. Got butterfly. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. You have a ball jointed wrist. You can go out that far, in that far. The trigger finger is on two joints and then the, the rest three are conjoined with the same joints. And the thumb is just on a ball joint. The thumb on mine does like to come off on both hands just a little bit. So just be careful with it. The upper torso, I believe is on a ball because you can get a good decent ab crunch and you can get some wiggle waggle in a little bit back. And then you have a waist swivel and that is also on a hinge. So you get even more ab crunch and going forward and you do get a bit back hip skirts these can move out these can move out of the way not all the way but a good amount and then the butt flaps are on a conjoined one so they can go that far back now the leg can only go that far forward until you utilize the drop down hips and then you can basically get a big boot or some just uh, just a big boot on other people. With the drop down hips, you can basically get some sweet chin music as well if you want. Um, you can basically do the full splits without the drop down hips, even with that hip skirt, not all the way out. Legs can go that far back, which you really just need it for that far back. And the hips, I uh, the hip skirts rather, I mean, are very, very well done. I do like how they are done. You get a thigh swivel. My watch just said hello. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. Nicely painted in there too. Wasn't expecting that, but it's a nice surprise. The feet, they are on a pivot. Because of how the feet are designed and molded, you don't get a bunch of it, but you get enough. Um, toes can move down slightly. Toes can also go up as well, as long as that clears. Whatever the foot piece... Um, they can go, and they can go a little bit back, and the feet can go that much forward. So, yeah, there you go for articulation. And I gotta say, this guy really makes the red line look bad. Take off the hand, boom, you got the Energon Axe just on the ball joint. Plug it in. His Ion Blaster is basically the Masterpiece style where there's a peg in the fist that the gun pegs into and you just wrap his fingers around the grip on it. It's not going to go anywhere. Sometimes I'm a little, little skeptical if it's going to fall out or not. But yeah, my one, my, I do have a couple critiques, but we'll get into them in a second. I already got into the stand. I do wish this is a bit bigger and I wish there was tabs on it. Um, he has difficulty holding Megatron. So yeah, I'll just post a, a, a an image here. And if you want to see more photos like that, or if you want to see the my photo shoot, go head over to my Instagram. It's in the description below, or even in my uh, YouTube page. Optimus also has built-in like little radio things from that one episode in G1, like so. And these are on both arms if you wish to utilize both. Now, I do apologize. I only have like two Optimus primes to compare him to. My Earthrise Optimus is all the way back in my shelf, and I don't want to mess up that shelf again because it's since the collection video is coming up soon. So, here he is with a VNR Optimus Prime from Legacy, just so you can get a sense of scale, um, because these two are basically the same price. And here he is with Animated Universe Legacy Optimus Prime. So. There, there's your sense of scale. Now, normally there'd be a transformation for him, but uh, this is a non-transforming figure. Now let's get into my nitpicks with the figure, which they're not, there's not much. There is some, as you've seen throughout the video, there is some troubles of getting him to stand properly. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but the feet just never seem to stay level, I guess is 
what I'm trying to say. I do wish like the entire foot was metal instead of just the toes because sometimes that does unbalance him. And sometimes if I have a fan on or a bit of a breeze in the room, if he's just standing still, he will topple over after some time. So I do wish there was a bit more weight, I guess, in the front of the legs or maybe just better heels. I don't know. It, it doesn't destroy the figure to me. It, it just, it's a little irritating. Now, I do wish that he could hold the Matrix better and also hold the Megatron gun better. I do think the Megatron gun should have been way bigger than it is. I think it is very small, especially compared to, let's just say, his Ion Blaster. Yeah, that's small. I do wish the Matrix leadership could maybe like splay open a little bit so all of his fingers could go in there, or at least he should have had better articulated hands. I'm not complaining about the articulation of hands, just maybe some more articulation to help him grasp the Matrix for photos, videos, etc. And finally, my biggest gripe with the figure, the stand. It's not horrible. Um, some people can tolerate it. I don't really care for the claw. I do wish it like tabbed into the figure itself. That way it would be a lot more stable. I don't have the greatest patience when it comes to trying to display figures, especially with stands like those. And I can probably just find like a, an adapter or something to help plug it into the figure. Maybe, I don't know. But that being said, this guy is only a little, I want to say about five dollars more than your average leader class figure. So, do I think that is worth the price? Yes. Uh, there's die cast metal in it, there's electronics in it. It doesn't come with batteries, but it's only an extra five bucks on Amazon. I got him on Amazon. And to me, I know he doesn't transform, but it's worth the leader class price, or a little bit above the leader class price. There's transparent plastic, there's die cast, there's really good quality, uh, plastic and really good paints along with the light up feature for the eyes and a couple of decent accessories i know megatron came with more and megatron's i think the same price so i gotta say i really do enjoy this optimus prime and i am hoping i can get my hands on megatron off of aliexpress as well so yeah this has been my look at the amk series yolo park optimus prime model kit i hope you guys all enjoyed watching and uh yeah go get one for yourself now Trust me, it's a good Optimus, and it's probably one of the best Optimus Primes I personally own in the collection. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.